This is my 1994 Saturn SC2, which I converted to electric. You may have seen this car before, but this is now the third time I have installed a motor in the car. This one is a larger AC50 three-phase motor, three-phase Curtis controller mounted on the firewall. Up front you can see the batteries. They're a premium car battery. More batteries in the trunk and an onboard charging unit. Plugs into a standard three-prong outlet. The interior of the car is pretty much normal, except a few extra gauges. Okay, now we're going to back out and take it out for a spin. On the dash, there's a digital display that displays RPMs, amps, volts, motor temperature, and any air conditions. So it looks like we're rolling along pretty good. And please keep in mind that we're not burning a single drop of gasoline. The car easily gets out on the road and will travel at highway speeds. The cost to operate the car is about five cents a mile. If you want to operate your gasoline powered car at a cost of five cents a mile, all you need to do is make certain that your car gets 125 miles per gallon. Now some people may say, what's the point? It's not just the cost of the fuel to operate the vehicle. The world is past peak oil production. Oil is becoming a scarcity and someday if we continue to consume we will run out. We rely on petroleum not just for motor fuel but for petrochemical fertilizers, adhesives, pharmaceuticals, paints, fabrics, many many products that are made of plastics. But mainly, mainly what people are concerned about is the cost. So as petroleum runs out, gasoline prices will have to increase. The next favored alternative may be natural gas. Can you imagine how much it will cost to heat your home when cars run on natural gas? Now as I pointed out earlier the car is running on premium car batteries. There are a total of nine And I must admit the range is quite limited. However, if I want to break a 100 mile range, I can install more expensive lithium batteries. There are also some tricks I can perform to increase the range of the car by conserving energy. This will no doubt involve the use of large capacitors. In its present configuration, it is a short range vehicle. As you can see, we're taking a pretty good drive. We've been working on the car for two years now. We've had 
three different motors and we've built all the the hardware that holds up the motor and fits it to the transmission. So this has been quite a learning experience. And when I get home, I'm going to plug in for about 45 minutes and that will top off the batteries. So you see, I could easily take the car out and do my grocery shopping and run a few other errands around town. And I must say, it's pretty much like driving any car. It's just very quiet. When you're driving, you just hear the slight whir of the electric motor and the usual road noise. Well, we're almost home and the car is not showing any signs of slowing down. Another thing to keep in mind is that this was not a factory built electric car. This was an ordinary car that we converted to electric and it certainly costs a lot less to convert a car to electric than to buy a factory built electric car. A lot of people are doing this we can't just sit back and wait for car companies to give us what we want. They certainly won't do it at the prices that we can afford. We can do it just as well and for a lot less money. I've talked to a lot of people who have said that this is simply impossible. There are some people who say it's impractical. And there are some people who think it's inconvenient to plug the car in when they get home. They'd much rather sit in line at a gas station and pump gas into their car. You know what? I'm having a lot of fun and I don't care what anyone says. I'm going to build more of these cars. Once you've built one car, building another one and another one and another one is really very easy. Well, we're getting to the end of the road but it's not the end of the project. I want to thank everybody for watching. Keep on watching. I'll be back again. I'm sure I'll have another car before very long. You'll know where to find me. I'll be right here. And I still will not burn a single drop of gas. Not in this car. <laughs>